when is a great time to buy and sell? You need to buy and sell when your life circumstances tell you you need to buy and sell. Because there is never a perfect market. Six months of inventory equal amount of buyers and sellers never happened before. I don't know if it ever will. You're a seller, right? You need to sell a house and you need to go buy a different house. It's a great time to sell, right? You're gonna sell it because inventory is low with multiple offers. It's just gonna be great. You're gonna make tons of money. Well, you're gonna spend all this money when you're gonna go and buy a house, right? Because now you are in that buyer pool. You have to overbid. You will be in multiple offer or situation. You have to waive many contingencies. So did you win? No, you didn't win. Is it a great time for you to sell? Yes, it's a great time to sell because the inventory is low. But is it a great time for you to sell? No, it's not. Because you're going to win here a little bit, but you're going to lose here. So the great time, it's when your life circumstances brings you into the point when you're ready to buy or ready to sell. You finally got that job that you always was dreaming about. It's okay. Just go ahead and sell your house, right? And then figure out what your next step will be with the buying, maybe renting for a short time until again, you can achieve that goal. And then later on, interest rates go down. They always go down and up. Interest rates were at 2%. We all lost it. Why did not I buy 10 houses? Circumstances wasn't presenting with opportunities to buy 10 houses right there and then. Yes, interest rates were two and a half percent. Historically, maybe it's never happening again. So are you ready to not be a homeowner forever or like leave this life goal for indefinite if the interest rate never will go to 2.5 we always say and it's not just because we're realtors and we do want to sell 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 buy the house because you need a place to live and then chase the interest rates stay on the news stay on the interest rates every day and see the moment they go down refinance not only you have a huge equity now you have a super low down payment everything is amazing or a chance never become a homeowner because you will be waiting for that two and a half percent for forever. And probably in the meanwhile, what are you doing? You are renting all of the money that you pay for rent and you're giving it to somebody else, right? They never go back to your pocket. You never pay off your home with that money. You give it to another person to make that mortgage payment and build up the equity. You don't wanna take the interest rate of 5% or 6%, but you are absolutely fine to pay 100% interest rate when you're renting a home. Come to the right professional, tell them what goal do you have at the end, and let us guide you through to achieve that goal.